Welcome back everyone to the channel. As the title suggests, today's video is going to be about installing the new mod to the CLA45. If you're watching this video, you probably already watched the unveiling of the wrap, which I mean looks amazing. If you haven't checked that out, you can watch it up here or left or right, one of the links right above there. You can watch the wrap reveal. Uh, but today's video is going to be about the Arma Speed carbon fiber intake that just came in the mail. Big shout out to Arma Speed for providing me with this intake. It's probably one of the first few in the US that has the carbon fiber cold air intake on the new CLA45. I'm at Driven Auto Styling. We're going to install it right now. I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on how to install it. Uh, based on the instructions, it looks pretty easy. Not something I could do because I'm not really good at cars. Anyone else could probably pick it up pretty easy. Let's unbox and check out what's inside the box. All right, so let's take a look and see what's inside. Oh, I have my helpful person help me here. Oh, we got two people here. All right, so first it comes with an instructions manual, which is right here. The next, you wanna unwrap that for me? So that's the ECU oh, cover. Man. I hope this is real carbon. Oh, it looks like it. Uh, it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, that looks good. I've never seen carbon fiber before. <laughs> what's next, B? Let's do it. It's like Christmas Day. It is Christmas. You never got presents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably like a mount or it's something. A cat. Oh, it's a cat. See, Meow. Oh place. yeah, the two ears there, right? That's the actual filter. Then we have some clamps. Two clamps and a silicone boot. Nice. And then the last carbon piece the actual pipe That's and there we go the there's the actual hose looks really good in carbon they had a forged carbon option, but I went with the regular carbon. But yeah, that's pretty much all the parts that you need. The instruction mail, just six steps, so you don't really need that many parts. Then I'm gonna give you guys the actual install, do a nice B-roll of the install, and then go from there. So let's go do it. First things first, we have some T30 bolts to get the ECU out of the way. Uh, they did include a carbon fiber cover for it, which will be really nice. So we'll put that on towards the end, but for step one, you want to remove these bolts. Yeah, make sure there's not too much tension on the wiring. Cover your paint because nobody wants to see swirls and stuff from that. This is nice and loose already. Once you have the air box out of the way, since you are keeping uh, the stock sealed unit, which is actually kind of smart for intake air temp reasons, you got to get these four other Torx bits. So these four little guys are T25s. So grab your little driver, whatever you're using. So. Uh, you just pop that clip off and then this guy here pops out never mind this clip also pops out and then we have our filter but this is kind of the best of both worlds and generally from here on the oem system is not restrictive with the accordion all this stuff here is where it is kind of restrictive all right you're going to want to loosen up that clamp then this clamp here those are the only two things holding this tube on. So actually, I missed a step. You wanna pop this off here. Uh, it's another one of those weird little clamps. If you got a panel popper, you can use that. If not, it just kinda comes out of your way. So then what you wanna do is you're gonna kind of get rid of this accordion section here. Ew, plastic, restrictive, ew. ew. Uh, this comes out as one unit. And there's those infamous leaves. Oh yeah, look, they found their way in there. Nice. We'll vacuum that up in a second. As you can see, the factory unit has this seal here. The Arma Speed gives you the same window so you can mount the aftermarket filter, but keep the box sealed. Not surprising. AMGs do love their leaves, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. Uh, next, you want to start rebuilding the intake. You put this clamp here, it'll go like that once we put the, the actual clamps on it. You want the Arma Speed logo nice and shown because uh, it's a great product. All right, so to get order for this, these are kind of like really long, uh, so we will just use our tool to tighten them up. Generally, you want to face these in the same angle, so it looks nice and neat. Not only that, but it'll be easier to tighten and untighten if you need to. This piece that's included in the box just drops in in the factory groove right here. Uh, it actually fits really well. There's no like 
don't know. It just drops in like it's meant to. Clamp set. You want to run it through this bar here like the factory unit had. And then you want to set this clamp up. Kind of get it in the direction it's supposed to go. Run these clamps kind of neatly. Um, we're gonna go this way for this because they seem to be really long and it seems like it's gonna poke out that way. So we're just kind of gonna do some alignment there. All right, so we just kind of had to finesse it off camera. As I was saying earlier, you don't wanna tighten anything down until it's in place and then you kind of have your directional set up. It does take a little bit of uh, twisting to set into place. This divider is a little tough to align perfectly with the boot. The one thing I can tell you is to give this, you know, about half an inch of space here. Otherwise, if you put it too far up the intake, this won't line up. It is really snug around here. So you have some of the intake creating a seal here for heat. So the next step is gonna be for us to tighten this stuff down and then we will reassemble the rest of it. All right, so we're gonna tighten down the clamps. It's pretty much it for the install of the intake. Then we're gonna give it a couple revs, see what it sounds like with the new intake. If it upgraded the turbo noises, if you can hear that whoosh, a little bit more, hopefully, yeah. So we're gonna go do that now. All right guys, welcome back. So last night we left off with finally screwing in the uh, ECU cover. I had to leave early, so I'm back here the next day wrapping up the video. So we're gonna take a look at how the intake looks. Then I'm gonna have George go in the car, rev it a little bit, see if we get some turbo noises and uh, call it a day. So let's go ahead. All right, so this is what the intake looks like completed. You have the carbon fiber hose here. You have the carbon fiber ECU cover, which I think looks a lot better than just having it plain because the actual air box is uh, below the ECU, so you can't really see it. So it's nice that Armor Speed did put this carbon fiber cover just to complete the look, have the carbon fiber just flow throughout the engine bay. I think it looks really cool. In terms of looks, it definitely completes the full look of the CLA 45 AMG uh, engine bay, especially with the carbon fiber on the plastic engine cover flows with the carbon fiber here but overall I think it looks amazing so we're gonna have B instead of George because George is working hard we're gonna have him get in the car do a couple revs so we can see if you can get more of that turbo noise guys so you heard how good the new intake sounds it definitely improved the actual noise from the engine bay with the turbo noises are a lot more apparent now with the new arma speed intake so if you have a cla 45 or an a 45 if you're in the european market definitely get the armor speed cold air intake i'll put the link down below uh, i think it sounds amazing i think it's a perfect mod for this car for a regular carbon it's about 650 bucks for forge 750 so it's a pretty good deal for a carbon cold air intake in my opinion but yeah i mean you heard it it sounds amazing but that pretty much wraps up the video for today you guys saw how to install the intake itself you heard how good it sounds um, unfortunately i didn't get a before uh, clip of what it sounds like but it definitely does not sound as good as this be on the lookout for the next video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video